Hi, Grace the Book Lady, and I have a monster-related story for you today. It's called Your Pal, Mo Willems, presents Leonardo the Terrible Monster. And that is the cover. Here we go. Leonardo was a terrible monster. Oh, sorry, there he is in the corner looking very sad. He couldn't scare anyone. There he is making up a big ruckus. But the people don't seem particularly upset by him. His scaring act is not working. He didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony. And, and the asterisk is to point out that these are not all Tony's teeth. They're not all showing. I mean, you can see he still has a lot, right? He wasn't big like Eleanor. Yeah, Eleanor is huge. I love her ankle bracelet and her pink toenail. Very chic, yeah? And he wasn't just plain weird like Hector. Yep, I agree. Hector is looking very weird. Yes, he is. Leonardo tried very hard to be scary, but he just wasn't. There he is doing all he can to be scary, even making a mask. But he's not scary at all. One day, Leonardo had an idea. He would find the most scary cat kid in the whole world and scare the tuna salad out of him. Yep, there he is, having his idea. He seems very happy about it. Let's see what happens. Leonardo researched until he found the perfect candidate. There he is. He's gone through all these books researching. I wonder who he's going to find. Sam. Sam apparently is a very scaredy cat type kid. Leonardo snuck up on the poor unsuspecting boy. Uh oh, there he is. And there's Sam. And the monster gave it all he had. He's working hard. Look at him. Until the little boy cried. Aw. He made the little boy cry. Did you see his little tear? Yes! Cheered Leonardo. I did it. I finally scared the tuna salad out of someone. So he's very happy. No, you didn't snap Sam. Sam is not buying it. Oh yeah, replied Leonardo. Then why are you crying? There's Leonardo. My big brother stole my, stole my action figure right out of my hands and I was still playing with it and then he broke it on purpose and it was my favorite toy and I tried to fix it but I couldn't and I got so mad I kicked the table and I stubbed my toe on the same foot that I hurt last month when I accidentally slipped in the bathtub after I got soap in my eyes trying to wash out the bird poo that was on my brother's... Uh, sock and a uh, cockatoo pooped on my head and I don't have any friends and my tummy hurts. Yeah. He had a whole litany of things that are upsetting him. Poor Sam. That's why yeah, 
Sam is not having a good day. And there's Leonardo. Then Leonardo made a very big decision. Instead of being a terrible monster, he became a wonderful friend. And Leonardo was saying, and giving him a hug, and he's saying, it's okay. And there they are, hand in hand. And it looks like both are feeling better about themselves. But that didn't mean that he couldn't try to scare his friend every now and then. Boo, he's saying. With green eyes and a green tongue. <laughs> and there is Sam chasing Leonardo. And that is the end. And that was... Your pal, Mo Willems, presents Leonardo the Terrible Monster. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.